Big Daddy Weave, brand new, it's called The Only Name. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, the encouraging story of the day, listen to Joe's story. Well, I got a lot to be thankful for this month. I will have 10 consecutive, continuous years of sobriety. Hey, that is awesome. awesome. I'm not really used to that yet. <laughs> well, I went to prison over it, and uh, that kind of changed a lot of things. What do you mean you're not used to it yet? I didn't expect to uh, make it this far, you know? So you're sort of pinching yourself. I just kept wanting to believe. You're daydreaming. Yeah. You're like, wow, is this really true? I went to the meetings, and I'd seen people who had this kind of sobriety, and I always wondered... Would I ever make it that far? I knew I could make it three years, but I didn't know I could make it any farther than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's been tough in the last 10 years. I've been struggling a lot, but I'd rather uh, do the struggling than to uh, go back to what I've seen before. And it's all part of having the faith in a higher power, which I believe is uh, Jesus. Well, you know, it's interesting uh, what you say. There's a scripture that kind of backs it up. It says, when he saved his people, we were like those who dream. God's goodness is so good, it's almost like, well, what Kankelford said, i got to pinch myself. Is this really true? <laughs> well, pretty much. <laughs> a positive, encouraging way to start your day. The Kayla Morning Show. With Craig, Amy, and Kankelford.